Hello viewers, greetings to you. I come your way again. I remain Divine Susie. This is another episode of The Truth Market and I bet you we have a lot to showcase today. And um, as you open your mind, as you get connected, you will not be left out. Here with us is the servant D.U. Ifanacho. So you are highly welcome. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you. And with us is also Broche Dozier. You are highly welcome, sir, to the show. Yes, we welcome you people to the largest market in the globe. Yes, market. exactly. Have a lot of samples for you to come and view and enjoy your life. You're welcome. Thank you very much. So like I said, we have a lot of content. It's a place whereby when you come, it, it has a lot to tell you. Truth Market is a place where you come and crack in. Are you seeking for information, maritally, socially, academically? Any aspect, space of human life you want to crack into, you want to find the truth about, just visit the truth market. And today, we have a lot for you. Stay tuned. Thank you very much. All right, today we have um, something to talk about on reincarnation. A lot of controversies, a lot of misunderstandings all over the places so many christians in fact in the christendom we are confused about that aspect and that is why i want to throw the question to the servant and let's see what he has for us today so sir we want to really ask what is reincarnation wow that's a very big interesting question okay it's interesting in the sense that uh, it has been something people don't want to dare mm. because they are afraid they will get it wrong yes. if they can't explain it. Well, we keep on asking, if you can't explain life, mm. why are you living in it? If you can't explain God, why are you standing to serve God you cannot explain? Exactly. You see? exactly. So every mystery is meant to be demystified. Exactly. You know? And uh, when it is being demystified, then the captives become free. free. The science of the spiritual world is what we brought to humanity, that nobody would ever be in confusion. And what we don't understand, we are not waiting till tomorrow. We are mm. going to ask God, mm. what does this mean? And God will explain to us, either in vision, or by impression, or by intuition, or through insight, will explain to you. Because Holy Spirit is not far from us. Exactly. So the word reincarnation, in uh, simple terms, uh, let me start, uh, Igbo people call it Obanje. Obanje spirit is reincarnation, <coughs> which is, uh, means, Obanje <coughs> means going and coming back. Going and coming back. You died. You became a spirit. Mm. All of a sudden, you come back again in the physical world. Wow and they put on another clothes and exist in this earth, then you die again, you go back again, you're reshuffling, you're reshuffling your movement or shuttling between the spiritual world and the physical world. That is reincarnation. <laughs> so, that's a, that's Obanje. <laughs> Obanje. Are you, okay, you mean, okay, that means spiritually, it's mm -hmm. not even a good thing. We'll talk about because from the way you said it is Obanje, we know yeah. Obanje. Yes. Whenever they say somebody is Obanje, yeah. that means he is a demon. Yeah. He calls for deliverance in our own understanding. Because I remember those days when we were praying, say if you are Obanje spirit, yeah. he goes fire. Yes. So how do we relate it? Because if you read the book of, you see Matthew. There's a portion in the Bible, I can't remember precisely, okay. where Jesus was talking about um, John the Baptist mm. as Elijah reincarnated. Mm. So are we now saying that John the Baptist is on one day? Okay. Now, the, 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 just like I said, you know, religion is very demonic. Okay. You know, what they cannot explain, they mm. call it a mystery. So nobody has preached about reincarnation in the church. Yes. But because we are the church of the firstborn, okay. we have to explain everything to bridge the gap between the spiritual world and the physical, and the physical world. And let, even, let us even know the ground of Christianity to reincarnation. Okay. You understand? Yes. And why Jesus Christ came. So reincarnation in the 
to a large extent is an unfulfillment. It's a sign of unfulfillment. Wow. And it is not good. Why is it not good? It is not good because you can't imagine you somebody is just with you. Mm. Before the person gets to the full ripe age, he leaves you and go to the other world. Mm. Maybe on coming back again, you you were he was older than you, was supposed to solve a problem exactly. you know for you and he died. All of a sudden, the person you were expecting to solve a problem to you come again and become your baby. Ah. <laughs> you understand? So such things. And nobody wishes to, to, to lose a loved one. Exactly. So that is really the fundamental essence of Christ coming. Christ came to stop reincarnation. That means the reincarnation was a reality. It was, it was a reality, but religion don't want to talk about it because they can't explain it. Christian religion don't want to. But people in the ancient world, even the Igbo today, believes that there is a reincarnation, which is a reality. Tonya mm. Lorogowa, who, whom you reincarnated and represent. But wow. it is demonic and it is unfulfillment and it is a sign of imperfection. That's why Christ came to stop reincarnation. If you read the book of uh, Luke chapter 1 verse 17, mm. when Simon was saying about John the Baptist, he made a reference of what was written mm. in the book of Malachi chapter 4 verse 5. In that book of Malachi chapter 4 verse 5, Malachi was a prophet that existed 500 years before Christ. And uh, John the Baptist is older than Jesus by six months. Mm. Now, he was saying now that before the coming of the Lord, I will send Elijah the prophet yes. before the coming of the Lord. So before the coming of Jesus Christ, it has been programmed in the spiritual world that John the Baptist had to come. Then when John was given birth to by El Elizabeth, now, the Simon, who was a priest, mm. was now saying that, okay, I remembered. 500 years ago, a prophet, Malachi, the last prophet, mm. before the New Testament, yes. you know, before the coming of Jesus, said that somebody is going to come in the spirit of Elijah. Okay. So we are not surprised to have him. Okay. But what did the prophet say? The prophet Malachi was saying he will prepare the way for the coming of Jesus Christ. Then when Jesus Christ now come, mm. the prophecy, I mean, the reincarnation will stop. Are you there? So now Jesus Christ came. John the Baptist lived mm. and was arrested. Now when John the Baptist get confused anymore, because he wasn't a prophet, he didn't understand the things of the spirituality. The science of the spirit. Yes. He was still operating with the old. Mm. He didn't know that Jesus came to end reincarnation. So he now said, go and ask Jesus whether he's the prophet that is to come or do we accept, uh, expect yes, another, one. another one? Because I was told that a prophet is going to come mm. immediately after my own ministry and assignment. Are you there? So now Jesus Christ now began now to explain in the book of Matthew chapter 11. Okay. From 11, 11, 11, he began now to say, Among all born of women, there is no one that have existed as a prophet, as a, a good prophet, mm. as John the Baptist. But coming in the kingdom of God, John the Baptist is the least because he doesn't know mm. why he came, mm. the science of the spirit. He was religious. He was confused. He doesn't understand the nitty gritties of the things of the spirit. Hi. Now, he is the least in the kingdom of God. But outside the kingdom of God, mm. he's the greatest prophet. Hmm. To what the religious. Level. Yes, to the religious. <laughs> so he said that kingdom of God suffered violence, and mm. violence secated by force. Mm. That the laws and the prophets had prophesied until John. Mm. So John stops prophecy. Until John. He said, if you are willing, from verse 14, mm. if you are willing to receive it, yes. if you will not doubt that there is no reincarnation, mm. if you are ready to receive it, this is the John the Baptist is the Elijah that has come. That has come. Mm. So, 
reincarnation stopped at the birth of Jesus, at the existence of Jesus, okay. and at the death of John the Baptist. Then it stopped. Now, reincarnation, as I said, is a sign of imperfection. Okay. A person who came into this world mm. and didn't live a fulfilled life. Yes. When he dies, he goes back there. He still come back again. So Jesus Christ now said, I am now coming. Mm. According to the prophets, prophecy, I'm now coming to stop reincarnation. That is to say, whoever lives in this world mm. must live a fulfilled life. So when you live a fulfilled life, if you die and go to the other world, mm. you will not have the need to come back to the earth. To earth. Because you lived a satisfied life. Yes, so it's a life that was not satisfied, mm. that was truncated by death, that was punctuated mm. by hardship, accident, or whatever, that could go back and, come back and come back again. So that is it. So reincarnation, we now Christians, mm. not Christian religious people, okay. I'm talking about starting from the embassy of the New Jerusalem now, okay. because we are bringing science into spirituality and living above untimely death, mm. we have conquered death. That's why the book of 1 Corinthians was saying that the last enemy to be conquered is death. So when you, now can, when you can control untimely death mm. and live above untimely death, then reincarnation stops, stops at that point. And Jesus Christ said, okay, let us bridge this gap okay. between dying and coming. And mm. coming. Okay. He says, Matthew chapter 6, verse 10, let your will be done here on earth as it is in heaven. in heaven. So when the will of God is being done here on earth, you live a fulfilled life, the last enemy to be conquered is death, mm. immediately you drop this flesh. Mm. You will not have any appetite or the need to come back to this physical world again. Okay. Wow. It's, a wonderful, it's a wonderful expression yeah. you have given. But I want our audience, those our viewers now, mm. who actually, if you are a pagan, if you are part of other religion, if you, are, if you are a Christian religious person, I want the servant to explicitly still tell you, is it good for Christians to reincarnate? This thing, because from the biblical explanation, we are still going to read out for them. Those that doesn't actually know the part of the Bible, understand it very well, we're going to read it out for them. Is it actually good for Christians to reincarnate? Okay. So that the servant now will start to give you a thorough explanation. If you say you're a Christian, I'm not talking about reincarnation and you want to come back or someone has come back, you call a Christian, then you have yourself to blame. Please, servant. Uh, it's not. Okay. It's not because for someone to reincarnate mm -hmm. mm, means that when you were on this earth, mm -hmm. you didn't live a fulfilled life. So Christianity begins from Christ, okay. not from Judaism. Mm. And why Jesus Christ came is that we must live in this physical world and live a fulfilled life. life. When you live a fulfilled life, you don't have any need yes. of coming back here on earth again. Now, let's take it from this way. Mm. I asked a question, I created an analogy okay. that explained perfectly the reincarnation. Okay. You came from your house. Yes, you came from your house. Mm? Mm -hmm. You know, coming for this program, you, come, you came on the way and now remembered that you forgot the key to your shop or to the church mm. or to this office. What will you do? You forgot it at home. What will you do? I will mm. go back. You, you do I'll what? Back you quickly go back. Exactly. To do what? To get it. To pick the key yes. and come and open the office. Now, if you didn't forget your key, mm -hmm. you had it in your bag, what are you going to do? Uh, you just walk you into your office. office. Walk into your office and sit down. Yes. That is it. So those that are agitating, mm -hmm. struggling to come back, are those who lived on fulfilled life mm -hmm. here on earth. Mm -hmm. When you live on fulfilled life here on earth, that means some party you have not attended, some uh, <laughs> houses you have not built, and or so many other material things, you know, mm. 
this earthly desire is still mm. graving. There is a mm. little girl you, you have not checked and uh, the person you wanted to marry, you couldn't marry. So your life is just in shamble mm. and unfulfilled. So when you go there, you'll be like, okay, God, excuse me. <laughs> or Satan, excuse me, whichever way. <laughs> excuse me, I want to Hi. come back. Hi. Let me go and meet that mm. thing I didn't fulfill. Wow. But it's not like that for a Christian. Yes. So before Christ, people were not living a fulfilled life. Okay. So they have this license to reincarnate, okay. to come back to fulfill. Just like what is happening in the eastern part of the country, mm. Nigeria, somebody will say, okay, I need a cow. I need a female fowl. Mm. I need this. Why? Because when he was here on earth, he was not a fulfilled person. But a fulfilled person will, no long, will not come back mm. to demand for anything because he is now a spirit mm. and he is living above okay. materiality or materialism or anything material. So it's people that forgot something who couldn't live a fulfilled life something. that will come. But if you came with the key, there is no need of, okay, I, I, let me go back. So now we are now going to say again, Mm. The Christians mm. reincarnate when, Christi when we are religious. Mm. Now, somebody is telling you that uh, Jesus is coming, heaven is uh, coming, you know, this and that, all these lies and fallacies. You didn't enjoy Jesus when you were here on physical earth. You didn't enjoy heaven here when you were here in physical world. When you die, you find out that your general overseer deceived you. <laughs> <laughs> General Pastor said, yes, you'll be like, ah, please excuse me, oh, I didn't know. Ah, 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 ah. Yes, no. let me come and correct my mistakes. But if but, you... But it would have been too late. Yeah, it must be late. It must be late because yeah. from, from this explanation, yeah. like, for Jesus to have come, yeah. he has breached that gap. Yes. So reincarnation is no longer yes. a reality like, okay, you forgot something, let me come back. Because yeah. if it's happening like that, people will not be afraid to even change their lifestyle. Yeah. But what I, I want to find out again is, that means people that didn't fulfill destiny, yeah. once they die, some of them can still possibly come back to the earth yeah. to do one or two things. Yeah. So is it that that coming of Jesus didn't really stop that opportunity. Yeah, it, it did not stop it okay. because it's in nature already. Okay. You know, it's in nature already. Life is a continuum. Eternity, as we have it in our pamphlet, mm. starts on earth, mm. not when you die. Eternity is a life that is not breached by death. So when somebody dies, he lives on. Then you can now live in eternity, either in hell or in heaven. heaven. That's what we are saying now that, okay, we brought heaven on earth for people. Mm. There is earth heaven and there is earth, earth hell. Mm. Earth hell are people that are living under religions. Limitation. Limitation, suffering. Suffering, suffering poverty. The name of ancestral the spirits, mm. manipulation by witchcraft and all that. Then if you are still alive here on earth, mm. You are in earth hell. Hi. Are you listening to me? Uncle Monko. Yes, yes. So when you die, yes. you go into eternal hell. That's the point of no return. And you continue suffering. Then if Satan wants to bring you back to suffer anybody, he can push you back. Okay. I see a baby okay. now. The person can come back. Yes, to but be it born is again. no longer on your own volition. Is by the master who seized you and killed you. Mm. Then you can now come and okay, this rich man, he, he, he made money through ritual, uh, uh, ritual he's a ritualist. Mm. Okay, what are we going to do to suffer this person? Okay, go back as an, as an imbecile. Mm. They, then demon can now send you as an imbecile so that you come and torment this person. Mm. Okay, go back as a drunkard so that you come and torment this person. Okay, go back. When you get to the age of 13, 15, die in the school. Hmm. In the time of being a copper, when you get to the age of uh, going to your NYSC, after graduation in medical school, die. They will now program you in that form. Jesus Christ. Is that? Yes. According to the program of Satan. 
So you now see he had, he, he, after brief illness, he just graduated rejoicing and celebrating and was trying to rest and he slumped. Just to, just to break their hearts. Yes, to break the heart of that family. Jesus now, Christ. but if you are a Christian in New Jerusalemites, you won't have children or a person that would stay here and die untimely. Mm. That is why I was saying that demon is using religion. Mm. Because before we came, when a child died untimely, a pastor, a priest, a father will tell you it's the will of God. God has brought. God, has God brought. God has taken. It's a lie. <laughs> God can never take any person untimely here on earth. Mm. Yes, he even said That's it in the Bible. Yes. He said it. He said, and you shall serve the Lord your God. You bless your bread and water. Yes. You take sickness from the midst of thee. And none shall cast their young. Yeah. And none shall be buried. Yes. In so the book of Isaiah chapter 65, when they were prophesying, as I was prophesying about the new Jerusalem, the heaven on earth, the new earth yes, we are sir. in today, mm. you know, he said a person who died at uh, 100 years will be under a curse. So you have the right to live above 100 when you are a Christian, when you are living exactly. a righteous life. So you are living life. a righteous life. Yes. According to According the dictates of God. So now, before now, this is it. Mm? This is the physical world. Okay. This is the spiritual world. Okay. Now, when the, the, the spirit, when you are here in the physical world, mm. you don't know what is happening in the spiritual world. Mm. Then, when you die and come to the spiritual world, is that yes. what happened? You get confused and be blocked of the things that is happening in the, the, physical, world. In the physical world. Mm? Yes. Now, Satan that is here oh. rule over you. But when Jesus Christ came, he opened this chamber. That was the reason why in the book of Matthew chapter 27, mm verse 50 51 52 when christ died the temple of the holy of the holies broke into two equal parts breaking that wall of partition that partition there is no you can stay here in the physical world and see direct what is going to happen in one million years wow. and your life after death you will be able to understand and program yourself just as we are enjoying heaven here on earth there is no guesswork whether when i die or in new jerusalem I when you die where are you going to because that temple that break that curtain yes. is symbolic mm. now the bible wrote it well i don't have words to explain i enjoy writing <laughs> maybe, maybe maybe in our <laughs> next episode i, I enjoy <laughs> writing to explain <laughs> explain some <laughs> mysteries about this reincarnation because it has been a hard nut to crack Honestly. now the veil v E I L, mm. which is the veil yeah. that was broken into Tons. two equal parts, giving people access to the Holy of the Holies, yes. is symbolic okay. that a man can be here in the physical world mm. and see how the spiritual world is through the eye of truth. Yes. That's what he was saying in the book of John, chapter 5, verse 24, that when whoever believes in the truth mm. which he teaches mm. has passed on from death unto eternal life. So immediately you are living a perfect life here on earth. Mm. Living in a square truth. Yes. Living by the teaching of the new Jerusalem. Are you there? Yes. You will be able to know 100% how your life is going to be after now. Not in confusion. So the, the veil that was broken, is veil is spelled V-E-I-L. Oh, Am I right? Exactly. Yes. Okay. Four digit words. Okay. Hmm? Yes. Then when you remove this E, mm. And bring it back. You have evil. Wow. What a mystery. Yes. <laughs> okay. You have what? Evil. Evil, evil is E-V-I-L. Mm. So that evil is religion. Mm. That evil is that blockage. That evil is that ignorance. Mm. So when that Jesus died, yes. Eh, yes. the veil, they deliberately put it there. As a symbol of demonism, manipulating humanity. Yes. Now, when Jesus Christ came, he removed the evil, yes. mm. which translates hidden as a veil. Mm. Then the evil, religion, you know, we say that religion is trinity of evil. Yes. Satan, religion, and ignorance mm. is the trinity 
of evil. Religion is among the trinity of evil. Mm. So it's among that veil. Hey, nobody can enter into the Holy of the Holies except Moses. And when you want to enter into the Holy of the Holies, mm. it is once every year. Once a year. Jesus Christ said, no, 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 no. Why are you really troubling these people? Let every person enter it every time. As much as you can. As you can. To your righteousness. Come will qualify to you. the throne of grace. Yes. Are you, are you getting what I'm saying? Yes. Now, before we begin to quote Bible, mm. I still have a living witness okay. of somebody in my place. My village is called Nguru. Okay. Are you there? In Enugu State. Okay. Where a man, a story was told. Mm. Some, a person died severally in a certain village. Okay. Die, come back, die, come back. Then he died, the third, maybe the third or the fourth one. Yes. Then the father, the parents, <laughs> cut his four fingers and uh, dried it and grind it and kept Jesus. on the rafter. Then after some years, the guy was born, a, a baby was born in another village. I think the other one was called Amorphia village. Okay. Then the other one is Umumbala village. Then the second, the second, the final belt he had was Umumbala village. When he was born, there was no four fingers. Wait, uh, when he died, yeah. they now cut the... They cut the fingers. When he reincarnated, the forefinger was no longer there. In another village. Mm. What? Yes. To confirm that yeah, he's still the same person. The same person. still the same person. Mm. Now, the village is just trackable. Now, the child grew up and knew the mother in the other world. Mm. In the first world he came. Mm. And this, yes, this, they this, were this, not this, in talking terms. Till the, man, the woman died. Yes. And today, as I'm talking to you, go down to Enugu to my village. The man is a catechist in a church. Wait, he was not oh. talking to her. Is it? <laughs> I'm confused. Is it that he's angry that they cut his hand? Yes. That, that was why he was he, not talking he, he, he to her. He's talking to the mother. The, 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 the last year mother. <laughs> <laughs> previous world mother. The previous mother. <laughs> Jesus. Go to my village now. The man is still alive. He's a catechist. Hmm in the church, in a Catholic, a Roman paganism. Catholic till now. And I know he can't explain this mystery. This is reality. This what? Is yes. I'm, I'm making an arrangement that when I travel to this village, I will take a picture with him. Hmm. He has four fingers. Hmm. He's older than me, maybe by 20 years or more than 20 years. Hmm. But, but they, because they cut the hand, they couldn't die again as Obanjena. Yeah, I wouldn't know for that one, but this is a, just a reality to tell Jesus. Christians that there is reincarnation. reincarnation. But reincarnation stops. Like us now, the living saints. Yeah. If I die now, what am I coming to earth to do again? Hmm. There is nothing I need on earth hmm. I've not seen. Thing. Is that? Yes. So I'm contented, I'm complete, I'm okay, hmm. 100%. Well, that even me staying here on the earth now mm. is just to make sure that you I lighten other people. There is nothing I'm to see on earth I've not seen. Yes. yes. So if not because of the yes. needful mm. and for the sake of people, I'm good to go. Hmm. <laughs> yes. It's not yet so time. It's always good for someone to die for fear. Just yes. like, yeah, just as like Pentecost. Yeah. Then when yes. I now go, I'm not coming back again. What am I coming back to do? Then I will see as Matthew chapter 22, it says mm. we will be like the angels of the Lord. Mm. There will be no marriage, there is mm. no this in mm. the time of resurrection. Mm. So we will be there as living saints here on earth. When we die, we go to the other world. Mm. Now we will be communicating to people through telepathic form. Anybody who wants to live a righteous life will appear in the spiritual world and give the person information to continue where we stopped. Mm. That is what Jesus was saying. Greater work than this shall you do because I'm going to my father. Now when he goes to the father, so like all what we are teaching, go and look more of our teaching, is 100% downloaded from heaven as it is. 
So Jesus is still talking to me as I'm speaking now. Wow. He is dead, yet he's still alive. Mm. But he can no longer appear in a physical form. Oh. But I get his wave mm. and insight and inspiration. Powerful. Mm. So any question I want to ask now, I don't go to Google. I don't ask General Overseer. Mm. I don't do anything. What I just say, be quiet. Christ will speak to you. Luke chapter 12, verse 12. At that very hour, you have any need, mm. ask. The Spirit will speak to you. He say, how bet? John chapter 16, verse 12 mm. to 13. How bet? When the Spirit of truth comes, he will lead you to all truth. Oh. He will not speak of his own, mm. but he will tell you of the things that okay. is to come. So please, there is reincarnation. For the people that are living on fulfilled life, mm. there is chances of reincarnation, though it is not automatic. Mm. When you die, it is Satan that decides whether you are going to come back here <laughs> or not. Hi. But as a Christian, yes. set spirits, Satan has no power over your spirit when yes. you die. Then when you die, bam, you move on and stay in the state of heavenliness. I will not have any desire to come and haunt the living. Mm. So those that are haunting the livings are those that are living unfulfilled life. life. Those that are saying, okay, kill cow for me. Uh, go and the jikwe onya lorgo and all that and mm. all that, you know, are the people who are in grave, trapped by grave. But no Christian will be trapped by grave. Yes, yeah. hmm. yeah. that That's is powerful. That is powerful. Mm. So you see, that is, that is why it is really very, very good, very important you live a fulfilled life. As a Christian, as a child of God, there is every need. You live out your destiny. A lot of people are just wasting their time, wasting their life doing a lot uh, of let, 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 me, let, me, let me help you, Susie. Okay. Please, as Susie is talking, I think I'm one of the horses. Exactly. So you hear from the horses. <laughs> yes, first. please. Yes, that's true. For you yes. to live this perfect life, come out from religion. Hmm. Your general overseer said, your pastor said, mm. your reverend said, bishop said, pope said, mm. you will destroy yourself. Mm. Because when you die now, you go there to find out that those people you call bishop and the reverends, they are, they are suffering. Exactly. If you want to test, test the level of their anger and selfishness while they are still living here. Okay. If you want to know anyone that is in hell, mm. Mm. Exactly. Check the levels of the person's emotion. Why on earth? Yeah, why yes. on earth? Exactly. Every negative emotion that makes you to not to have peace mm. is a sign that you are in hell. Mm. Mm. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Men have not begun. No. Men have not started. So having. now we who are in heaven on earth, mm. as promised, a new heaven and a new earth, peaceful at all time, day in, day out. You can never see us, me as a spaceman, being angry at anything. No, it can never happen. Oh, hallelujah. <laughs> what, 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 what fought for? What will make me angry? What will make me provoked? What will make me think stop? Hmm. So, this is it. The only way to enter into heaven on earth is to go for a square truth. And test everything to know whether you are. We will say this someday, whether you're a Christian or not. Oh, no. What makes you to be a Christian? It's not amount of money or famous, how famous you are, or how people regard you in the society, but how peaceful you are, how contented you are, how you are living above satanic manipulation, manipulation. you know and being sure of tomorrow and knowing that when you die, you are not going to come back again. That's right. I would have given you another examples, but let me stop here. Okay. Of people. Mm. Wow. Wow. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you, yeah, servant. It's, it's really awesome. In fact, we are, we are being transformed every day. As you are visiting us, we are being renewed. <laughs> God bless you. In fact, stay blessed, <laughs> sir. <laughs> so he has said it all. Don't have much to say again, but please. Do everything it takes to live a fulfilled life. It is very, very good to live out your destiny. This teaching now from the servant is really setting people on their toes. For you to know that if you don't fulfill destiny here on earth and you die, 
You are coming back, not that you are coming back to correct your mistake. Oh, the devil will not be the one to push and begin to remove you around as a demon. You don't have much to say again, but please do everything it takes to live a fulfilled life. And to live this fulfilled life, there is no other way than locating the truth. Here with us is the laws of truth. As rightly said earlier, get the laws of truth. Make sure on a daily basis you study this. There are packages here for you. Hidden truths, hidden treasure, every secret about life you need to know. It's a guide to truth. It's a guide to your destiny. When you study the laws of truth, I bet you will not live a wasted life. You will not live an unfulfilled life. You must see something that will help you to reach out your destiny. And reincarnation, as we said, is not for the children of God. It's not for Christians. So please, make sure you grab a copy. It's just 5,000 Naira. Thank you. So we've come to the end of today's episode and hope to have you next time. God bless you.